Hello, this is Reza from Red Acad, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use um, an Excel as a one source of OneDrive for business so that when you refresh it in a Power BI service as a data set, you don't need a gateway. Let's check it out. Um, I have a Power BI report that I am going to get data from this Excel file, which is located in my OneDrive for business. Uh, um, so what I'll be doing, I'll be getting data from Excel and then uh, from OneDrive for business under that folder, I select this Excel file. Um, and let's say I select a couple of um, tables or sheets from that Excel file in this case. Uh, the sales table, stores table, that's it, and then load, right? Um, this is sourced from that Excel file, and I'm going to build a very simple uh, visualizations with that, nothing uh, too fancy, just a, a simple map visual by city and the sales quantity. So this is uh, a chart working perfectly fine inside Power BI Desktop. Now I'm going to uh save this and publish it to the website so i'm going to save it as um let's say pops uh one drive for business let's call it in my desktop and then publish it to my workspace when you publish it to the websites, then if you want to get it refreshed uh, on a scheduled basis, you have to come to the website. So this is a website opened. Go to um, view related. You'll see the data set and then schedule refresh on the data set to get it scheduled refreshed. But now when I go to schedule refresh, I see everything is disabled. Uh, I see here there's an option to set up gateway which is on, I just need to set, select the gateway. Uh, but what is the gateway? Let's talk about that. The problem with this is that gateway should not be needed here. Gateway is an application that you need when you have Power BI dataset in the cloud, uh, want to get data from an on-premises source. On-premises source means a local file, local folder in your network. Um, that is when you need a gateway. Uh, in this case, I shouldn't need a gateway because this file, is in OneDrive for Business and OneDrive for Business is a cloud data source. So why do I need a gateway? The reason is that this uh, Power BI file that I've created is not actually sourcing from OneDrive for Business. It is sourcing locally. To see the source of your Power BI file, you can go to um, Power BI Desktop under Transform Data. You can go to Data Source Settings and here you can see all the data sources. In this case, you see that it is sourced from a local folder. This is uh, why we need a gateway because it is a, um, a directory, a local directory folder path. That's why it needs a gateway. Now I can change it to be not a, uh, not a local folder uh, to be a web query. And the way that you need to change it to the, uh, you can change it to the web query is that first you can open the Excel file to get the web address of the file because this file is located in OneDrive for Business. You can get the address of that. Uh, you can go to the file uh, in the Excel file, then under info, you'll see open file location. But then if you right click on that, you can copy the path. And then I just paste it in a notepad window. Now this is the web URL, not the not of the file, of the folder for that file. Then after this, I should have a slash file name, right? But that's the web URL. Now what I'll do, I'll close the Excel file. I go back to Power BI Desktop. I go to Transform Data, which brings the Power Query Editor for me. Power Query Editor. And then I'll open uh, uh, each of these queries that is sourced from that Excel file. Uh, go to the source step of that query. 
I'll see the formula bar. If you don't see the formula bar here, you can always go to view tab and enable it. The formula bar is there. Um, uh, but if you see the formula bar, you see that it's excel.workbook, then inside that function, there is a file.contents. This is where you need to change. Instead of file.contents, we should change it to web.contents. W should be capital. Uh, Power Query is case sensitive. And then instead of this um, path, we need to change it to this web URL. I'm going to copy that. I'm keeping the file name. I'm just pasting it here. So pasting it here right before that. And I changed the backslash here also to forward slash because that's a web URL. Now, same thing. Uh, same thing, I do it for the other one as well in the source step. I just paste the same thing as a source step for that. Now, these two are sourced from uh, that web query. After doing this change, I'll go to Home tab, close and apply. Everything in the Power BI desktop is still the same. However, this time if I go to data source setting under transform data, I see it is a web source. It's not a local folder anymore. So I publish it again. Save and publish on the same place and replace the existing file. Now, because this time it's a web source and we used web.contents for that source, that means we can easily go and uh, refresh it with just changing the credential. We don't need a gateway for that. Um, so I'm here now to um, go to the, in the website to go to the data set. I use view related in the schedule refresh setting. This time you see that gateway, user gateway is off. That means you don't need to set it up. However, you need to set the data source setting. So you can go to edit credential, set it to OAuth, uh, organizational or public, whatever, sign in with the account that have access to that source. In this case, I'm already signed in, so I don't really need to sign in, uh, but you can sign in. And then after that, you can schedule it to refresh, turn it on and schedule it to refresh. Or if you want to just refresh it manually, you can always um, go to that data set and try this refresh to refresh it manually and if everything is fine it should work just fine you don't need a gateway so as you can see this is just refreshed just right now so here you go this is how you can change your excel uh, file source from local folder to a web query so that you can get it refreshed without the need to the gateway uh, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have um, weekly videos of Power BI and AI. Thanks.